This presentation introduces you to the content, the teaching method and the requirements of the Morphology and Syntax class for MA students on the Virtual Linguistics campus. The presentation is organized as follows. First, we will look at the content of the class and its syllabus, provide an overview of the e-educational strategies that are applied, and will finally list the requirements students have to fulfill to get the class credits. Now let's start with the class description. The class is subdivided into two parts. The first part is dedicated to morphology, where we will investigate the fundamental concepts such as morphological operations first, and we'll then look at the main morphological processes using examples from English and other languages. Syntax constitutes the second part of this class. We will discuss the basic concepts first and will then look at the components of generative grammar including its variants. The discussion of subject selection principles in present-day English is in the focus of the final two units. Now the educational model we use is that of the inverted classroom. In order to understand this educational model in its VLC version, we have to consider the central components and activities of traditional teaching and learning beforehand. So let's look at these things in more detail. Now in traditional teaching and learning, content delivery and content acquisition are realized in class where several dozen students have to gather at the same time to be entertained by their teacher. In a second phase, students practice on their own, on the basis of additional exercise material, homework tasks, etc. Now we flip or invert these two activities and apply the inverted classroom model. Content acquisition is now self-guided. It takes place first and is done online. The additional in-class phase is now dedicated to practicing, rehearsing, discussion, analysis, etc. This means that prior to each in-class meeting, students must have worked through the online content of each respective unit. This model has become known as the inverted classroom model or the flipped mastery education model. Now, the educational principles that are applied are now pretty clear. In phase one, you are now the autonomous learner. Whereas in phase two, we will meet in class where classical teaching, frontal teaching is now out. Now the central teaching method is that of cooperative interaction between instructor and students. Let's look at the digital content for phase one in more detail. In all our classes, we supply you with highly interactive multimedia content, the so-called virtual sessions. They're indicated by this logo on each class start site. Now recently, we have added video clips, the so-called e-lectures. These are never longer than 15 minutes and are closely connected with the virtual sessions. Well, the logo is slightly different. It indicates that video support is available. Furthermore, we have our workbooks. They supply you with the text material, but not with other media, and give you the opportunity to supplement the text of the online content with additional information. This combination of multimedia Video and text is unparalleled in the world of e-education. Now finally, you want to know what you have to do in order to get the six class credits, where one credit is the equivalent of about 30 hours workload. Now the credits will be awarded as follows. First of all, we want you to actively participate in our class activities. Secondly, you have to do at least six ungraded worksheets. Now, since these ungraded worksheets constitute the basis, whether you've grasped the online content or not, we recommend that you do all ungraded worksheets. Two of these worksheets, however, are graded. 
they have to be done as well and they are awarded with 20% of the overall grade of the class. One analysis project has to be done too where you have to analyze morphological data. Well, it counts 40% of the overall grade. And finally, you all have to do an e-exam in our computer pool or if you're an online student from wherever you are. And again, 40% are given to this e-exam. Well, this class has been taught several times at several universities. And as you can see from the comment here, students seem to like it a lot.